Hello everybody and welcome back to Factory Outlet Simulator. We need to crack on straight away because as you see in the right hand corner we have a wholesale running so we need to make 80. Uh, oh dear, we've got a machine failure. Let's fix that machine failure first. We need to make 80 off-light red t-shirts uh, just to earn a little bit of money here. I think we're going to need some materials as well. We are indeed. We're going to need some coloured fabric. Let's uh, get some of that before we do anything more. Uh, coloured fabric it's there let's get a good let's get a good healthy chunk of these let's get 20 of those we're always selling out anyway uh, we'll get some more black thread as well so tide is over right let's make some of these so the plan behind making some of these now is because I don't really see as we might but opening for very long today kind of taking a day off from the shop because I'm going to be adding a few more things to it stocking up with some new t-shirts that kind of stuff One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, we're going to be getting some more t-shirts. I'll get some different shelving and we'll get some, uh, maybe some decoration if we can afford it. That kind of stuff in there. That's what we're going to be doing to begin with today. So we're not really going to be opening the shop, maybe for an entire in-game day. So this is going to net us about $500, I think. Which is basically, it pays for Jimmy, who he costs us $150 a day, so it pays his salary. Makes us the kind of money we would generally make by opening for a day anyway, so... Pays all of our bills, and once again, a bit like I did in the previous episode... I've driven to the wrong place. Let's go over here, because this is a ship one, not an airport one. Yeah, this is just kind of pays for us to be closed for a day, really. It's a, it was a quick and easy wholesale, so it was worth doing. It's only taken us a few minutes. Not parked very well there, though. Terrible parking. $558. Yeah, that's paid for a full day there. That's good. I like that. Right, let's quickly head back then. We'll see if we can salvage some of the day. I imagine the first half of the day is going to be wiped out, basically. At least. Okay, let's see. Let's make, not make any mistakes this time. If you saw the last episode, you'll know that I made a humongous error at the beginning of the episode, which kind of upset the whole episode for a little bit anyway, uh, is I, I bought a second machine, even though I didn't want one, instead of a small t-shirt rack. So this time I'm going to buy a small t-shirt rack. Let's make sure. Yes, indeed. 300. I want to get a fitting room. Now we can afford one. Uh, they keep asking for it. I have no idea if it's going to give us any benefit or not. Probably not, but they keep asking for it, so we'll have it. Uh, I think what I'll do for now, one and a half grand, we'll see what else we have available to us afterwards. That's like an extra t-shirt, right? So we can just go there for now. This fitting room. It's so big. Oh, wait, why can't you just have one of these? A single one would be absolutely perfect. If I just move that over here slightly. And then that goes kind of... Hmm. Could that... Actually. Could this... 
get in that corner. It's just massive, isn't it? Absolutely massive. Maybe it's going to have to go on that wall there. Let's move the uh, jeans out of the way. Put it in the corner. Something like that. We might have to expand again, to be honest. Don't think it's a lot to expand. Expansions are usually pretty cheap. I think about $250 an expansion, at least in the early ones. Is that the best that can do? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. We can still put the jeans there, so that's not too bad. Do that for now. Got more jeans on there. Our stock there, that's fine. So then this can be moved back over again. There somewhere. Something like that. And that can be moved into the corner again. Something like that. And then if that's shoved up towards the checkout, we might be able to fit the third one in, is my hope. If I get this one as far up as we can get it there, That one goes to there. Just enough room, I think. Actually, more than just enough. It's fine. There's plenty of room. So that, that's worked quite nicely, then. So now we can have some extra T-shirts. Well, I, th I was thinking an extra brand of T-shirts. That'd be fine. And there's a small gap in there, but we'll leave that for now. They'll probably move stuff around anyway. All right, can we get any decoration that's cheap? I don't know what decoration does, but they do ask for it. Presumably some of this stuff is decoration. It's a decorative plant, but $300. Unless we're going to get a benefit to that, like 10% extra income or something, I don't see the point in putting that in. Now, there's no cheap decoration. We'll leave it. We'll leave the decoration for now. Uh, in that case, then, I just want to get a... Ooh. How much was that mannequin for the window? Mm, 250. He he can wear our t-shirt, you see. I'm going to have the plastic mannequin. I'm pretty sure he can wear our gear in the window. So if we put him like that and then we can put I think we can put like a pair of jeans on his rack or something or I don't know. Maybe you can only put your own stuff on it then. Hang on. Uh, we're going to need to make some more of our own t-shirts anyway. So let's... Let's make some cool summers. And I'm going to see if I can put a cool summer t-shirt on him. I don't know why you can't use these mannequins, like the ones that come with the place, but... Why can I not do anything with him? Edit. Oh, okay. Oh, so you don't actually place stuff on, you just... Well, you do place stuff on, but I can put anything on here. I tell you what, where is this as well? This You see this popularity? Why isn't that in like some other menu somewhere? This is telling me what's popular and what's not. For instance, our Lacoste stuff that we sell is not popular at all. Or the Forever 20 stuff, like the Forever 20 blue, which we don't even sell, is actually a really popular item. And my own stuff is not popular either. Unless this gives it extra popularity, which is possible. It's a possibility. 
Okay, so he's got no legs, so he can't wear those, but he can't even have them on the side. Is that it? All right, well, he's wearing out a t-shirt anyway. That's good enough for me. Tell you what, that, that ice cream motif actually looks better once it's printed than it did in the design tab. Interesting. Uh, okay, so we could go Forever 20s then. But I was thinking of a different license entirely, to be honest with you. Something that's going to earn more money. So we could have Hogo Bass. Which is like the next one up. That's 400. <coughs> 500. For Adidas. I think... I think we'll go with some Hogo Bass. Or whatever it is. Keep coming out of the uh, computer. Every time I want to, like... Because on a lot of games, you press escape to, like, back out through a menu rather than use the computer as a computer. So I keep pressing escape and he steps out every single time. It's taken me a while to get used to that. Right. Hogo Bass. Uh... How much could these sell for then? These are dead cheap. No, that was a mistake, wasn't it? I mean, they were asking for them. But we can only sell them for like $5 a piece. There's just no money in Hogo Bass. It's really difficult to know what's, what's worth money and what's not in this game. There doesn't seem to be any... Like, they're the same... Well, they're, they're more money than in the Forever 20s. They weren't worth it, but... You, that should be a good brand. Oh, well. Uh, let's make some anyway. So, Hogo Bass. Uh, we'll make some white ones. We'll make some... red ones. You see, now, do you think the... I bet they weren't, but the... Whatever the fake version of Adidas is, do you think they're worth slightly more? Is it just going to be like... If it's only 50 cents per time, I guess you're, you're better off just doing it as... as you go, rather than jumping ahead. But it'd be nice to know if there's, like, an item that's worth it. It's like if you save up, you can sell this item for a load more money. Uh, Coloured thread... Just, you just don't know what anything is worth until you until you try it. There's no market research. I think that needs to be added. Just a, like a variation of some market research. Which one do we have? Red, white. We can have the blue one then, can't we? Yeah, just some a little bit like market research, just so you can have a rough idea. Like that popularity on here. Was, I mean, I think that was telling me what the Forever 20s are popular. Which is fine, but they don't make us any money, so I'm not... I'd rather sell slightly less popular stuff and make more money than something that is popular. Or maybe, does putting it on the mannequin, does that make it more popular? Because it's on the mannequin. It's not really been explained. It's kind of work it out as you go, which I don't mind. I just wish the information was there. I think we can probably, for one hour, <laughs> probably open up. Uh, we could do with some more red Lacostes. And maybe a white off-right as well. Are we actually going to get any customers? I mean, it's what we budgeted for, so it's not a... It's not a problem. I was expecting to be closed for the day. Aha! We have customers. Okay, so we're, it's not been a complete waste, then. We are going to make some money today. Let's stand here and make sure we don't get any thieves. Doesn't look like we're going to get any thieves, so that's good. I think somebody's gone in the dressing room. Yeah. 
So what's that giving us though? That's that's what I don't know. Is that it's stopping them complain? Do we get more customers for that? Do they pay more? Do they buy more? What is the benefit to that? That's the problem. Ah, he wants Adidas or Ad Ad Adidas. They're gonna be Adidas. He wants Adidas. Of course he wants Adidas. Uh do we need some more of these? I think we do, don't we? Some more of our own design on the go. Now, what I'm tempted about doing, because we've still got good money here, having uh, already done some bits, is I'd like to keep the store somewhere close to as it is now in terms of stock. So if we get some racks in here, and then a restocker. They can keep this place full all the time and we can just basically keep keep our rack full in there rather than keep having to check in here. I might do that. We might have to do another wholesale run just to make sure we've got enough money to do that. But that'd be quite nice. It would also keep it a bit tidier in here because we need boxes everywhere all the time. How much is that though? Um, interior. So I think storage rack. A thousand? A thousand? Why? Store storage rack. Store storage. Storage. Which one do you need? Is store store? Is store storage... Just keeping boxes out here. That's that's got to be what that means, yeah. So that's got to be store storage. Is is basically these boxes I have here, just having a rack in here that they can go on. Surely. So then the thousand has got to be the storage rack for in here, yeah. Got to be. It's really not clear. I I really 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 like this game, but there are certain things. I just don't know what the benefit for it is or what specifically it does. A bit of like description as you hover over it would be good. Not even going to think about decoration like that because we can't afford that anyway. Let's have a look at wholesale, see if there's anything we can do. New orders have arrived. 110 Hogo Boss shirts. That's not bad actually. Gets us another 700. That's very good. That would make us about 2,700. That would make us 2,003. Very tempted to take that deal. That's going to make us some really good money. And we can start doing this overnight while we're closed anyway. So to make uh, off-light white jeans, we require, at the moment, nothing. 22 of these, and we're making the better part of three grand. This has got to be the way forward. Has to be the way forward. All right. that in there so we need uh 20 so what else do you need for that you need uh plastic button cheap zipper and white fabric so we need 21 of each so white fabric we have four in stock so we'll take another uh we'll take 17 takes us to the top we just take that up to 20. We'll have a few extras of those. 21 plastic buttons. And 21 cheap zippers. I'm just going to make sure it is definitely the cheap zipper. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, but I just want to make doubly sure. Cheap zipper it is indeed. Alright, confirm order. It's expensive. 
But uh, I think it's going to be well worth it. Because we can do this through the night. By the time the night is over and we're ready to open again, we'll have all that money and then we can uh, hopefully get a re-slucker. Also want to check stock exchange just briefly. That seems like it's gone down to me by quite a bit. Let's uh, slot value eight. Let's buy twenty-five of those. And hopefully that'll earn us a bit of money on the side. Fortunately, our machine has broken. It's always this one that seems to break more often, I would say. The other one breaks occasionally, but nowhere near. You don't have enough money. What are you talking about? Oh, no. That, oh, that's for... Oh, please don't tell me we've lost our employee. That's for Jimmy, isn't it? Are we still here? But we don't have enough money to cover his wages, is what it's saying. It's layers off, though, for that day. Maybe we're just in debt for him now. It'll be okay as soon as we get this done. It's because I invested some money in that uh, in that stock. Which hopefully will go up. I wish it told you how many you'd already made. So this will be 11, so uh, we're halfway through. But, you know, if it just told you somewhere, oh, you've made this many, or this is how many you have in stock of that specific item. But it doesn't seem to do that anywhere, either. Don't know if we can do it before the time comes to open up. Don't think so. So times like this, you kind of wish you had an extra machine, isn't it? Now I need the third machine, even though I would never have even bought the second machine if it wasn't by accident. Okay, by my calculations... Got another six to make. Or five since we've set that one going. No, oh. Well it looks like we're it looks like we're gonna sell her forever twenty. I'll put this in here somewhere. We don't even want this, but we'll have We'll sell it anyway. Ah, annoying. It's too easy to misclick something. Like, I was clicking pants and it's clicked produce.
I doubt that will be the last time I end up doing that. The store looks good though, doesn't it? I like it with it. It's filling up now. It is filling up. I like it. I think we'll need another expansion, probably in the next episode. Just to, uh, just to buy us a little bit of extra space. I think if we can get this wall down here... Then, uh, we could, if we get that wall down, have the larger version of these and have them in the middle of the floor so they can shop either side of it. Because at the moment, we don't really use our center floor space. We only use the walls. We could use the center of the floor a little bit more. pair this and I think this will be the last pair because then we'll be out of plastic buttons so that should be that we've got just enough time to run it down to the ship and then come back and open it's slightly late but not too bad I don't know what happens to, to Jimmy's wages though hopefully they just come straight away I hope we don't get fined for it or Something like that. All right, let's take these down. And I could open now, really, but I don't want to miss any thieves. get out character takes forever to get out the car all right let's go oh i missed it we were going for a world record fastest unloader in the world so i'm gonna have to slow down slightly it's actually sending me a bit dizzy Three grand, we got even better money. Look at that. We made over 3,000 on that. It's because we're so quick. They gave us an extra, like, $500 or something. It doesn't even say you, you get that anywhere. Like, it, it says that if you don't achieve it, you'll get, like, half the price. Which is still good money. You know, it's still, you don't lose out. I mean, you get the bonus for doing it fast, but we get seem to get a bonus for doing it super fast is nice because now we've got over three grand i hope jimmy's wages have come out because we can more than afford his wages now let's open up should get in either side of the car as well i, I like the idea like you have to open the door and get in and what have you but a bit quicker would be nice there we go all right we'll park it there so now, let's watch for thieves. Okay, we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven customers. Seems like quite a lot. Hopefully nobody is thieving. Doesn't seem like they are. Right, can I now? That's still at eight, so we'll keep an eye on that. We spend a thousand then on a... What's the pallet for? What is the pallet for? It tells you in employees, doesn't it? So the cashier sells there. Before the factory restocker can be active, you need to buy pallets or storage racks. It then takes newly produced products from the machine and places them in the storage areas. But I don't think they operate the machine there. I think they just take them. I might be wrong, but I don't think... Because how would they know what they're doing? The store restocker will only pick up products with the store storage rack. Okay, so we need the store storage rack. Okay, so... Uh, ah, okay. So we have... Interesting. So we have we have storage for... Getting busy in here, isn't it? 
Not missed any thieves, no. Um Oh Jimmy, where's Jimmy? He what he where did he go? Employee, Jimmy, come back to work, mate. Come back. I'm so sorry your salary didn't get paid yesterday. I will pay you extra today to make up for the inconvenience. But you were standing here. <laughs> like you you were here when I left to the ship, and then you disappear when it's time to work. Annoying. He's very quick though. Like, he serves people rapid. He is worth every penny that we pay him. Right, so let's uh so we need a not enough fitting rooms in here. Where do you think you're going? Um Yeah, so we need a store storage rack then. So we don't need so the other storage rack is just for keeping stuff in store in here. We don't really need that. We need the store storage rack, which is actually cheaper. We need one of these. So if I have that, but in the warehouse. Well, that's that's bigger than I thought it would be, actually. That looked tiny on the thing. Uh wait, so you can't so you have to have that in store. What's going on here? No, you can have it in here. I think. Yes, you can. It's being weird. Um I don't really know where a good place for it is though. I guess here. It's uh uh, so this is acting very strange. Alright, I'm just going to try and put this down and then run away. Alright, that's not too bad. And that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. So if we just put stuff on there, our restocker will get on with life and restock stuff as, as they go. So we can just start banging stuff out in here now. We'll see how it works. We'll start banging stuff out in here and putting it on there. We don't need... So the other shelving rack is purely for just keeping extra stock in here. And that's how the game stops the restocker from taking stuff that you might be saving for wholesale. So... That's pretty good. How many of these can you get? You can get quite a lot of things on here as well. That's really cheap. Can you double stack? Probably not. But that's not too bad. I don't mind that. I do not mind that at all. Make sure we haven't missed any thieves. I've not been watching at all. Nobody sneaking, so I think we're okay. Um, right, we'll start making some like other bits and pieces then, like Lacoste and stuff. Uh, make some of those. Make some of those. And then, if I hire a restocker, employees, uh, so we want the store restocker, Johnny Stocker. Welcome aboard, Johnny. How does Johnny work? First, Johnny goes through the wall. Then Johnny walks into the store. Then Johnny goes up and he unloads the t-shirts while his boss makes sure there are no thieves. And then he goes back to see what Johnny's doing. What's Johnny doing now? Here comes Johnny again. He's a quick restocker, isn't he, Johnny? I tell you what, doesn't everybody dress nice as well? Um, problem, Johnny. Problem. I had this rack specifically for one item and that rack for the other. You've mixed up my storage. I mean, you're doing your job, so I, I don't mind, but... Huh. I, I liked it, having my summer stuff there and my... Yeah, you're messing it up, John. This is not good, John. Now, this is not what I wanted. Can I... You can't mark these for a specific item either. That works and doesn't work, doesn't it, John? Hmm? I mean, you're quick, you're efficient, you're as good as Jimmy in that regard, and you're both stylishly dressed. But you've been messing up my... Uh, my flow in here. I do like him, though. I just don't like the fact he's messing up my designs. Because they're going to go everywhere. That's bad with just two racks. Can you imagine how bad that's going to be with... You know, how bad is that going to be with three or four racks? Or if, when you've got the whole store and your stuff is everywhere, he's just going to put it everywhere. He's not going to put it where you want it. 
Hmm. We might keep Johnny for a little bit, but I don't think we'll keep Johnny forever. He's useful. But I don't think he's as useful as we need him to be. I mean, he's quick at doing it. Oh, he's, oh, he's double sacking everything. Look what he's doing. Oh, okay. Johnny's doesn't work very well. I don't think we can have Johnny. Johnny's messing up the shop. I mean, he's good because we're, we're making money at the moment. And I feel like he's helping us do that. Because, you know, we can just concentrate entirely on just doing this for a second. But... Hmm. Johnny may have to go before the, before the next episode, right? We need more coloured thread and coloured fabric. Because Johnny is just restocking stuff everywhere. Alright, let's grab 20 of these. And we'll get some 20 coloured threads as well. Probably do another like wholesale run in the next video or something as well. Problem is here, I don't even know what I've got. He's taking stuff so quickly through to the store. I think we just need to keep buying everything, don't we? Or making everything, I should say. But he is just messing up the entire... It's everything. It's gone everywhere. Johnny used to work in TK Maxx. Clearly. It's just absolutely everywhere. This is not how I wanted my shop to be run, Johnny. Well, hopefully, hopefully that gets changed in a uh, future update. He's very useful in terms of his speed. The way he just picks things up, gets to work, cracks on. Great. And I suppose he has kind of... I don't like the fact that they're all mixed, but it looks okay. And these look a bit more colourful as well. It looks a more colourful store now. But nothing is in its rightful place. So Johnny's, yeah. Like I say, Johnny from TK Maxx or whatever it's called around the rest of the world. It's got a different name, hasn't it, in the States? But... Yeah, he could do better. He could do better. Ooh, he needs more jeans. Can't f right, we can't make any jeans. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. Let's just see out the day. And like I say, between the next episode, I might have to... Um... Oh, I might have to get rid of Johnny. This is going to take me... The problem I now have, I can't separate these. I can't... Like, literally can't do anything with these. I can't pick them up again once they're on the shelves. So these are going to be like this for a very long time. Basically, I have to run the store out. It's gonna, we're going to have to sell out of everything so I can put stuff back where I want it again, unfortunately. So the whole idea of Johnny was to... You know, if we've got somebody restocking as well, I can just be in there making wholesale, making, I can just make loads of clothes, really. We go, go on top of our store and uh, storage. And that was kind of the whole idea of it. But it's not worked out that way because he just puts stuff everywhere. And because he's put stuff everywhere... Yeah, it's, it's just not worked out, has it? Because now that's like that. Until that sells out, that's like that. I can't change that. So we can't have stuff where I want it anymore. And that's bad in a store of this size, but it would be horrendous. I'm glad I didn't find that out. If we'd expanded this store and we had like 10 racks and loads of other stuff and loads of our own designs, and within five minutes, Johnny from TK Maxx had come in and just put stuff absolutely everywhere and you find it yourself. Oof, that would have been really annoying. It's not too bad, I suppose. We can We can fix it. Not a bad first day, Johnny. Not a bad first day, but not entirely what I want. Hopefully you get patched before the next episode. Nice sharply dressed, though. I do like that. You've done pretty well. I'm sorry we didn't pay you between uh, yesterday and today. That was a, a slight misfortune I had with some, uh, some money there, but we're all good now, though, yeah? Good. So Jimmy's happy, and Jimmy works really well. Johnny needs improvement. But that is going to do this episode, actually. Let's just, before we end, let's just make sure we're not going to 
Now it's still worth eight, so that's basically worth what we paid for it. So we'll leave that there for now. Yeah, that is going to do this episode then. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you for another video very soon.